Welcome back campers, Miss Lexi here. I am super excited to show you the activity that I have planned out for you all today. It is a scavenger hunt that I have named Fine Boo's Door. And it is actually inspired by one of my all time favorite Disney movies, Monsters Inc. I think this movie is really cute, it's funny, and it's just one of those classic Disney movies that you just can't get enough of. Um, so, for those who are familiar with the movie or have watched it, you know that there is a little girl in the movie named Boo. And in this movie, monsters shred her door, but in the end of it, they essentially put her door back together. And that is what we're going to be doing today through a scavenger hunt. So, we are going to design and shred, aka cut, Boo's door into several pieces of paper that will serve as our clues. And through a scavenger hunt, we will essentially put Boo's door back together. So, before getting into the details of how this is going to work, let me show you what you need supply-wise first. You need some paper, some colored pencils or uh, crayons, they'll work too, some scissors, and some tape. So this um, scavenger hunt can work in two different ways. You can either draw one door and cut several pieces of paper out of it and write clues on each of them and hide them that way. Or if you have a younger camper, you can just draw multiple doors. You know, don't cut the piece of paper, write one clue on each door and hide them that way. So that's make it easier for the younger campers. Instead of them looking for small pieces of paper, they can just look for an entire sheet. So either way will do. Uh, it's whatever works best for you and your campers at home. I am going to cut my door and I'm going to draw Boo's door. Now you don't have to draw Boo's exact door. You can draw whatever door you want. You can draw your bedroom door, your house door. You can even design your own door. So it really doesn't matter. But a little tip is to go ahead and draw the door, the entire door on this entire sheet of paper. Um, just um, so you don't have to cut your door out and then cut more so you can get the piece, the smaller pieces of paper, if that makes sense. So just go ahead and make this entire sheet of paper your door so you don't have to waste paper. So I am going to go ahead and draw Boo's door. And if you want to draw Boo's door, there is a picture on the written uh, portion of this activity. If you want to look at that, you can. But again, if you don't want to draw Boo's door, you know, you don't have to. So I'm going to go ahead and draw her door. Okay, so I just drew a real quick and easy, simple form of Boo's door. Just threw some flowers on the bottom of it. And as you can see, I made the entire sheet the door. So now that I have my door drawn, I'm going to go ahead now and cut my door into pieces of paper. Um, as always, if you are younger, you know, have a parent or guardian or someone older there to cut out your door for you. I am probably going to cut out five or six pieces of paper, uh, depending on how long you want your scavenger hunt to last. If you want a longer scavenger hunt, uh, cut out several pieces of paper. However, if you want a shorter scavenger hunt, you know, don't cut out as many. It really doesn't matter. It's whatever works best. So I'm going to cut that out. I'm also going to draw my clues on there and I'm going to hide them as well. And obviously this is the time if you are the one doing the scavenger hunt to maybe step away or give this task off to someone else. So to, so you don't cheat or anything. I'm just doing this as an example. So I'm going to do this and the next clip we will be looking for our clues. All right, so I'm downstairs now. I've hidden all of the clues. Obviously I know where they're at, but we're going to pretend like I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and switch the camera around and get the scavenger hunt started. Okay, so I went ahead and gave myself my very first clue to get the game started and it says go to where you brush your teeth. Okay, so we're going to go to my bathroom. And right here on the door is a clue, and it says, go to where you put on your shoes. And parents and guardians or whoever else is there, um, this is the chance to be as vague as you want with your clues. For example, sometimes I put my shoes on here, sometimes I put them on here. So, you know, place your clues in places where you know that your camper will have to check multiple places. So, any clues in here? Don't see anything. No clues. Okay, so shut that. Let's check in here. Any clues? Oh, there's one right there. Go to where you eat breakfast. Okay, put that back. I'm gonna hike up these stairs. Put a little workout in too. Okay, so 
Again, I eat breakfast um, about anywhere. <laughs> um, I eat sometimes there, sometimes there, and even there. So let's check here first, nothing there. Anything over here? No, nothing but flowers. Let's check here. See some poking through in here. Take that. What does it say? Go to where you keep your TV remote. All right, well, if you're anything like me, you often lose your TV remote. <laughs> so it can be anywhere in this living room in reality. So we already checked that pillow. Let's check this pillow. Nope, nothing, nothing up there, nothing here. Nothing on the TV stand, nothing there. These pillows, nope, nope. Let's check in here. Aha, you did it. <laughs> so you can write anything you want. This just signifies that the scavenger hunt is over. And I actually have another way you can play this game in the next clip. All right, so that was a very short and simple scavenger hunt. Obviously, it's much more fun if you don't know where they're hidden in the first place, but that was just an example. And another way you can play this game, a more challenging way you can play this game, is instead of saying, you know, go to where you keep your TV remote, you can say an actual quote for the movie. For example, instead of saying, go to where you keep your TV remote, you can say, I can't believe it, I was on TV. That's when Mike, at the end of the movie, Mike and Sully were on TV and he couldn't believe it. So, you know, Bring some scenes and quotes in instead of just saying, go to where you keep your TV remote. It'll get the camper thinking, okay, it has something to do with the TV. Or another example, instead of saying, go to where you put on your shoes, you can say, scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. And that comes from a scene where Mike is actually training Sully to be a scarer. So with that quote, we'll have the camper thinking, okay, it has something to do with my feet. And so the, you know, the options are endless. You can pull any quote or even scenes. You can draw out the scenes if you want. Um, or you don't have to use quotes or scenes at all, you know, you can just stick to the simple way of saying go to where you keep your TV remote. It really doesn't matter. Make it as simple or as challenging as you want. So I hope you all had a great time uh, with the scavenger hunt and I will see you all next week.